Hi guys, this is Christian speaking, or CEO for short. This time, we talk business. This is the famous bill of materials to build our trainer. As a reminder, our trainer is actually made of two parts. is the PLC trainer and is the output trainer. And we're going to talk about these now in details. Both of them are related together by a flat cable, which is this one. So, I'm going to wrap it there. As I cannot attach PDF files, you're going to find a link in the comments related to the video. So you're going to be able to download these four files. So you're going to be able not only to consult the list, but to actually go and look for the items. Let's take a look to see how it's going. First, it's just a list of materials. As you can see, PLC board, to have a good idea about what you're looking for as materials. Second is a similar one for the output board. Okay? You are going to take a look at that. And now I am discussing each of these two lists in detail to see the items we have to do. Now, the most expensive item of all is obviously the PLC. So if I am clicking on that link, I am going on eBay, that is the only item I bought on eBay. And uh, don't pick up this one here, because it's way too expensive. Not this one either. But here, if you pick up this one, see here? It's exactly the one on the list where I figured $150, because as you can see, it's $149.99. And in Canadian dollars, approximately $200. This is the one you're gonna order. As you can see, they're all available. So the PLC, when coming, it's coming in a box. Is going to be something like that. That's what you're going to get. Okay? That's the PLC itself. One thing clarified. So again, that's the one you're looking for. Next. In order to connect the PLC trainer to the output trainer, you're going to need two such terminal blocks. And right here in the top, where it is the 16 pin connector here we're going to plug our flat cable this one here if you take a look it's exactly this one so far so good we go forward so again this one you need two of them because it's one for the output trainer and this one for the plc trainer we go forward you are going to need some switches to build the bracket to simulate the inputs. So the switches are going to come in a bag, something like that, because the purpose is to get exactly this bracket. By the way, I couldn't find a bracket on uh, Amazon. No big deal. I went to the closest Home Depot and I bought one like this. I'm going to talk about this in detail in the next video when I'm going to uh, deal with uh, cutting the bracket and making the holes and placing the switches and doing soldering and so on. It's gonna be a bit funnier, okay? But this is from the closest Home Depot, as well as some brackets because these ones here, these brackets, you're gonna find them in the closest depot. So I'm gonna talk about all these in detail when dealing with wiring the switches. However, you need the switches. Here they are. Let's go forward. Want to see them? Okay, so here is the item. Let's go forward. We pass the switches. Here is a crimping tool, and it's also associated with a lot of connectors. It's a kit, actually. So it's going to be a very good investment for whatever you would need to wire in the future. Similarly, we're going to need some ferrules, because the ferrules are going to be extremely, extremely useful when doing the wiring like professionals. So, when you are going to wire, 
you're going to need the ferrules. When you receive them, they look like that. And the color of the 21 matter, it's a similar one, okay? Whatever you get, that's exactly the kind of tool you need. So far, so good. Let's go further. Here is the sensor. So not only we're going to have a lot of switches associated to our trainer, but also a real sensor. Found a very cheap one. Normally the sensors are starting $40 or more, but this is extremely cheap. Here it is. I just received it. It's packed in the box, okay? right here. It's exactly, exactly the model, okay? exactly. Good, let's go further. Then you're going to need some uh, plastic clips. That's okay, it doesn't matter the color you get them. I got a lot of them in a bag right here. <coughs> some rubber feet. You are gonna get several of them together. That's exactly, exactly the model. This one, here they are. Very good, let's go further. Two power cords. It doesn't matter how are they looking like because we're going to cut these ends and attaching our ferrules at the end. If you look for them, right here, as you can see, they are fully available, so there's not a problem. You see, they are even in sale, everything is fine. Let's go further. Surely you are going to need some uh, wiring for our PLCs because we don't need like for industrial equipment uh, 16 uh, AVG wiring, 20 AV AWG is absolutely uh, enough, it's a very good choice. And then in order to prepare the switches, there's some thinned uh, copper wire and uh, I've just got this. It's something pretty, pretty similar. This one here. So when I'm going to remove the plastic covering it, I'm gonna be able to get access to the wiring. This is going to be very useful to prepare the switches. Screws, not a problem. Plenty of them, very easy to get. They should be somewhere here. Here they are. I have plenty of screws. Let's go further. I took the liberty to cut already the uh, aluminum uh, beam rails. You are gonna get something like this. So I've cut them already and I'm going to explain to you closely when the time of the assembling is come. But here they are. So they are not that expensive, they are cheap, very good choice. Here are the beam rails. Okay. Also, some connectors because the term actually there are terminal blocks we have several of them coming that's exactly exactly what's right there is the same model precisely exactly exactly the same model different sizes okay here they are tie wraps not a problem okay so this is for the PLC board, okay? Now we go for the other one, this one here, for the output rail. And as you can see, output boards, bill of materials. First, we start with the uh, flat cable. Actually, what I found is that they come in a pack with two such flat cables, so already made, you don't need to buy tools for that. As you can see, this is the second interface. It's absolutely similar to the other one. This is why you need to order two, actually. Okay. Now, the box. The box I've got is this one. 
I just received the box. I'm gonna remove it. So that's a box with five holes, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So this is the box. Oh, the emergency switch. Give me a second to find it because here is the bag it came in. Take a look, that's exactly, exactly the same. So far so good? Let's go further. And by the way, if you want to see it on Amazon, here it is, available. It's a very good price. Let's go further. Lights. These pilot lights are going to be the ones we use to place here on the box. So if I'm looking for them, I've just got all the lights required. As you can see, different colors. I can place them temporarily right here. Just a second. Take them out of the bags. Here they are. So we're going to use these ones. So when you start making uh, programs with the PLCs, you can even simulate some uh, traffic lights if you put them in order, okay? So it's gonna be a very nice box with pilot lights, okay? So far so good. We go forward. Okay, so that's on Amazon. Now, a power supply. This one has a very good price. I've got another one. Is this one right here. I prepared it already because I want to check the fans. So at the same time, we're going to be able to check the power supply and the fans. Now, here they are. Yours are gonna be nicer than mine's because they are going to be multicolored. However, let's check them out. So because the fans are driven here inside by some uh, transistors, you have to respect the polarity. Uh, as soon as you energize them, you should see them turning Okay. and at the same time being driven by some LEDs. Isn't that nice? So now we check both the fan and the power supply, both of them at work. Very good. Let's go further. The fans are checked. Here they are. Oh, 12 volt, 12 volt motor with a gear. Here is the guy, take a look. That's exactly, exactly like the one in the picture. So if you are looking for it, here it is. This is the guy, clearly says 12 volt, 200 RPM. So it's going to revolve around three times per second. This way you're going to be able to watch very nicely if the motor is in action. Surely here is the bracket, it should be somewhere here. With all that stuff all together. Yeah, it's surely somewhere. Here it is. So this is the bracket. That's exactly, exactly the bracket required. Okay. Let's go next. Now the big relay 
eight contacts is this guy here. Here is the socket, similar type. And here is the relay, 12 volt, round. So far so good. These ones. The flat relays. Let's go to look for them. You're going to find the pack of three. Here are two of them. So they look pretty, pretty similar to the ones you're gonna get. Absolutely similar. Here they are. Let's go further. That's it. That's our list. So please consult the list. Start to order your stuff. And uh, you're going to be able to download the four files to consult them anytime you want by watching the link in the comments associated to the video. So far so good. Because the next video we're going to build the bracket with the, uh, with the eight switches. So we go one step further to build effectively our trailer. Thank you very much for listening. See you the next time.